Campus closing, utility bills overdue. Chapel Hill Mall has had issues for years. But could this finally be the end? News 5's Amanda Van Allen tells us more about the foreclosure notice. It was served today. Some shoppers are devastated. I feel a little disappointed because my friend and I, we would always walk around here. Others don't know how this mall is still around. Yeah, it's not surprising really. I guess it's kind of sad to see that they're in that bad of shape. I mean, they've just lost so many stores in the last few years. I don't know how they can afford to stay open really. For Chapel Hill Mall, with many stores now gone, including two of their anchors, this foreclosure could be the final blow. Well, this current owner purchased the property in 2017 for about $8.6 million. Uh, since then, he has never been current in his taxes. Kristen Scalise, the Summit County Fiscal Officer, says the mall's owner paid some money on back taxes a year ago, but nothing since then. When I took a look at the delinquencies and the fact that the property's never been current, and then I factored in the taxes that will be due the first half and second half of this year, if those go unpaid, this will be the number one delinquent property in all of Summit County. And that is why I've chosen to move forward. According to the county, the owner must pay more than $700,000 in order to stop the foreclosure process. This bill includes what will come due next month and some back water and sewer bills. Ohio Edison has filed their own lawsuit against the mall for back monies they say they are owed. Store owners, employees, and shoppers still have some time before the mall could be closed for good. Because the mall is somewhat occupied, the foreclosure will take 9 to 12 months in its entirety because it is a foreclosure that will go through our common police court. We reached out to the mall owner for comment. The person who answered the phone told us to call back tomorrow. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.